Thanks for tuning in to today's snapshot for Dr. Martin Luther Church for Friday, May 8th. I hope you'll also tune in for the worship on Saturday or Sunday for the fifth Sunday of Easter. We will also be remembering the women in our lives at that service for its Mother's Day weekend. In honor of mothers and the fifth Sunday of Easter, we'll be celebrating communion and we will distribute the bread and the wine to members of our church and anybody who drives through the parking lot entering off Main Street. And at the portico, they'll be receiving the bread and the wine from one of their pastors here at church. I hope you can join us. As we give thanks for women in our lives on Mother's Day weekend, I hope you'll think of people that are important in your life. I think of Verdine Amundsen. Verdine was our Sunday school superintendent in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. She led the Sunday school opening every week. Great enthusiasm, love for the gospel, wonderful singer, and she taught me how to sing Kumbaya. I'll give thanks for my Aunt Jane Carlson, who lived in Grand Rapids near us, my mother's aunt. She was a person of very devout faith, influenced us greatly. She was so trusting in God that on the weekend of the social security check coming in, she would endorse her social security check to the church and put the whole check right in the offering plate. Little did she know that my mom had an arrangement with the counters to go get that check and then parcel out a bit for my Aunt Jane's living expenses, but she trusted God to provide. I'm gonna give thanks for my mother, of course, as I hope you will for yours. I received so much from her. I didn't just receive these droopy eyelids and a round face from her, and I can explain that. I did a DNA test and I found out that my mom and I are Samis. That, those are Laplander reindeer herders. We always knew we were Swedish, not knowing that the genes come from those folks up north. I also get a relatively happy disposition from my mother. I, I'm sure that she laughed every day of her life. She only scolded me twice, can you believe that? And I'm not gonna tell you when it was. My, my mom endured a lot. My brother Pete died in his early 40s, leaving three kids. She handled it so beautifully, not in the sense of a stiff upper lip, but in the sense of having a faith that God would take care of Pete and his family and us. She had a husband my dad, who was ill for a couple of decades. She endured a lot with that and did it all with great grace. There was a study three years ago in which they found out that 70% of people say that it was their mother who most influenced their life of faith. What a testimony to the women in our lives. Grandparents also shared in that influence for people. Who will you give thanks for this weekend? I hope you will remember some specific people that you can give, to God, give God thanks for. Let's close with this beautiful hymn. Mothering God, you gave me birth in the bright morning of this world. Creator, source of every breath, you are my rain, my wind, and my sun. God bless you today. I hope we see you this weekend.